Hello friends, welcome you all in KVT videos. Today in KVT videos we will continue on click view sessions. Last time we completed our click view charts part three, ready, part three session. So click view charts part four. We will cover staggering labels in a pie chart, creating a secondary dimension in a bar chart, replace legend in a line chart with labels on each line. So in first we will see like staggering labels in a pie chart. The more segments in a pie chart, it will smudge into each other. So nothing is visible. The labels are uh, stick to each other and it is not clear to visible. The pie chart is uh, more good when the um, categories are less. Like uh, if you are uh, exploring for four years data and by chart you want like four years so it will be like four labels so it will better or age gender because only two male and uh, male and female so those kind of scenarios by charts are good but if the categories are are more then the pie chart labels will be stagnant let's see how to arrange the label so that it is when the data is more, still we can see clearly the what are the labels with the each segment. So I created a data set query, the load in line, country and sales. So this data we will use in making the pie chart. Just open the ClickView desktop application. Click on edit script. Paste this, copy and paste into script and then press reload. Okay, we need to save it. We will save it like uh, with name pie chart. Add all, apply. Okay, we'll remove this uh, list items. So we'll create a pie chart. So click on chart, various chart. So click on pie chart and click next. Add use dimension, add country as a dimension. Click next. It will ask for expression. So we will write expression like dual country incessant. percent number um, sum sales hash just form a string like hash hash zero Bracket close and percent to append repeat C care thirteen and percent care ten rank some sales because it's a cancer city minus six comma some sales 
back and close click ok click values on data points click next in short by y value option and descending as the direction click next style is ok next in presentation deselect the show legend option then finish so this thing comes right this just uh, remove the label here and go to caption and write show caption sales by country then your chart would like sales by country so if you see the bigger ones is fine as like mexico and now we have the close segments but still we have labels like south africa france you have clearly visible labels and we can correlate what what is the last one like this green one is like australia so what actually the expression is doing go to property expression so the magic is like repeat function this function till so the 13 the ascii character 13 and 10 is like uh, give us a carriage return so new line field so note that there is a rank minus 6 so basically rank minus 6 so basically the repeat doesn't kick in until you get to the seventh rank value in the dimension so there is no reason to start staggering on the earlier values 1 2 3 4 5 6 till 6 is like what so after 6 we are adding this things so next thing we will see like creating a secondary dimension in a bar chart within a click queue there is a possibility of displaying a secondary axis in a bar chart this can be useful for displaying some hierarchical data for example year and month in fact, it only really works when there is a strict hierarchy such as this. Each of the secondary values would exist in each of the primary values. Like each month occurs in each year. So there is a hierarchy. Let's create some sample data and then we will uh, create bar chart. So load the script like cost table year sales load start in line month 2011 year 2012 year 2013 year so it just become like year is the year month and sales is a hierarchy between like year and month and the values are in the sales values just copy this script and then open click with desktop application edit the script add the script click on reload so this is like a bar chart bar chart with secondary dimension save it so we we are getting like month sales year add on okay we remove this list 
insert new chart select bar chart click next so use dimensions like year and month press control so that you can select both click next in expression we need to write sum of sales case and city click next uh, you can fix it so if you see we have year and month year as a series so we don't want like this we will want the year shown here as a second view so edit the chart and add a second expression with just value of zero that means right uh, expression add one more expression then just value zero click ok click ok so the new legend came open the properties go to the presentation tab and deselect the show legend option click ok edit the properties again in the access tab go to the access tab Set the secondary dimension labels italic. Okay. So like this happened. So year then month. But we want like secondary dimension should be year. So just go to chart properties and in dimensions properties. Uh, use dimension just remove the month so year then month so apply it okay so this is how we can see the secondary dimension and prime dimension and the same to put so next step is like replace legend in a line chart with labels on each line so one of the problems with the standard vector line chart is that the region is somewhat removed from the chart mm -hmm. and it can be difficult to keep going back and forth between the region mm -hmm. and the data to work out which line is which. So the way of resolving this is to remove the region and replace it with labels on each line. So we can see easily which line is representing which label. So before that we will generate a data set to produce the line chart so data is like uh, country sales and date let's open the click view desktop uh, application edit script we will copy the string data script based here click on reload it will ask to save the report so the name would be like line chart replacing legend with labels add all country date sale date sales are the fields remove these list boxes this deleted deleted 
new sheet object chart and this is line chart next add two dimension date and country control select and country now click on next in the expression we'll write like 12 if date equals to max total total date country let it close some sales now enter bracket close click ok on the expression tab ensure that the values on data points option is checked this is on expression tab values on data points is checked click on next until you get the presentation tab this is style yeah we got the presentation deselect so show legend click on finish so if you see the labels and all we need to and the countries are like here so we need a uh, date in x-axis and the labels are like country so go to here use dimension then demote the country that means promoting the date when you do apply see so this row is we can easily say this is for india data this is for uk this is for singapore and this is for japan and the caption values also in the expression just uh, like space so it will remove and uh, caption caption show caption here you can write sales by country so now it's a neat and clean line chart with no legends only labels so in today video we covered like kit with charts staggering labels in a pie chart creating a secondary dimension in a bar chart then at last replace legend in a line chart with the labels on each line thank you for watching this video guys if you like it please like the video share the video or subscribe my youtube channel for more videos thank you